What are you doing? I'm just looking at my phone. What are you doing? I'm trying to talk to the people. You don't want to say hi to them? Hi, peeps. So, as y'all can see in the background, we're leaving Walmart. Yeah, I had to come in and get some. I'm cutting you off here. There we go. Well, I don't want that much. You don't want them to see your pretty face? No. You got your tooth in? Is that still too much? Sorry, guys. Is that, does that work for your pleasure? That's, that's fine. Will that suffice? That's sufficient. All right, well, yeah, we had to come to town. Like I said on the video yesterday, we were going to go get some grass seed yesterday, and I didn't, so that's what we did today. What kind did we get? I just picked up some manual ryegrass. It's just strictly to uh, let it grow and let them eat it. You know, whether it comes back next year or not, I don't know. Probably not because it probably won't be going yeah. to see. But it would be good enough for this winter time that by oh, the time yeah. uh, spring all pops the, up, yeah. all the grass will be coming in. All the other grasses should peek through. Plus, so, we're putting them out different areas so it gives them a break yeah and you just ordered another 160 foot of the fencing yeah so we'll have about 300 and what 20 yeah about three something like that I wonder if that'd be enough to go from y'all's front fence line up and around the salt cedars and back around the front fence line which the front you, you yard. come up in the front yard around the yeah. salt cedars and then back down along that fence line that they have and back around maybe I mean, as long as we keep moving around like we have, it'll give that area room to, for time to grow, so. We have a lot of primrose out there, or morning glory, or whatever you want to call them. Little pink ones. Just wild ones from yeah, the pond. Yeah, they don't really care for those. And my understanding is they can be poisonous if they eat them at the wrong time of year or something. But yeah, but, I don't know, the goats, they seem to, they taste it and if they don't like it they just won't eat it right and they'll move to the next thing and but eat that's it. what they did they went up to that one pile they want to try it and then they nibbled on it and it's kind of like well it's not what they wanted so they moved on i'm gonna say this so i don't lose my man card this What's is that? a starbucks drink hey. i don't go to starbucks and buy stuff this was just a tractor supply i needed a pick me up so i will say this these the Starbucks one tastes better to me than the Monster Coffee. I know they're probably not good for you, but hell, nothing nowadays is good for you, apparently. So, anyways, they're coming along with this uh, overpass and Interstate 69. Going in pretty fast. Yeah, they're starting to shut down some of the lanes so they can, I guess, start paving it. Yeah, moving us over, so. But yeah, uh, that's what we'll get into today. Just part of, uh, I guess, what I'll be doing today is just spreading that seed out. Do you yeah. have one of them little spreaders or just do it by hand? No, nah, we'll just do it by hand. And then, uh, I mean, 50 pounds will definitely do that whole area pretty good. It says it's for 10,000 square feet. So that's what, 100 by... A lot. A lot. Yeah. But I mean, it'll it'll be good for that. Like I said, it'll give it time to grow, and then they'll have something to snack on. And it's not like they don't eat their corn and sweet feet and all that too. So. Yeah, we give them that as a kind of a treat, basically. But they have been doing a good job. Uh, I'm glad you got that electric fencing. That's something that I wanted to get a while back and just never did. Yeah. Well, they do. They clean up real good. We've been moving it around, and uh, even put it in the neighbor's yard, and they cleaned up part of theirs and. We'll just keep moving them around. Yeah, and we're starting to put it down in the pond. Uh, what was the pond? It's just the hole, as y'all have seen. And then uh, that big island that's behind my place is probably, what, 25 feet wide by 50 feet long? Yeah, at least. And we'll wrap it around that. And as y'all saw in the, one of the last videos, it was uh, starting to get overgrown there. So I guess once we get the other fencing, we'll do that. Because I don't think this one will be yeah, enough. Yeah, it won't be long enough. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll circle that island with it and let them stay on there for a little while. I get asked a lot, especially up there in Oklahoma when I was actually with all the goats, why I have goats. But why do you have goats? Well, I enjoy them. Uh, 
you know, I retired and Melanie's retired and uh, we had a friend that had some goats, the original ones, and uh, she couldn't handle them. <laughs> so she asked if we would, if we won, I said, sure. So we, uh, we bought them from her. Been doing it ever since. They're just little pets. Um, For the most part, pets. Yeah. And, you know, they keep stuff eaten down. Um, you know, I sell them, you know. Multiple reasons. Yeah. But uh, as far as eating, no, they'd probably be pretty good because they're small. I would. But I wouldn't eat them unless it was like a situation where we needed it yeah i would but as far as these goats i'd rather kill like a, a deer or something right you know we have that option so but no they're just mainly little pets and weed eaters and and i know some people say well that's a waste of money and time well it's my money and my time yeah that's what i say about everything but i mean and they don't stink like no because you only have the one male now if you had a whole bunch of males they they pee on they, each other. Yeah, they pee on themselves and stuff, and they stink. The males do, but I mean, they're they're doing their job. And now that we have this electric fencing, it's somewhat of a little bit of a work to put in it to move it around and stuff and get them in there. But once right. they're in there, I mean, it's fine. And, yeah, once they go in a couple of times, and they know where to go. So I just open up the gates and they go in. Especially if you don't feed them first, right? Because you can you can dang near make a goat do anything. For shake the bucket of yeah, feed. Yeah, shake that bucket of corn and they come running. But, yeah, I think right now, today we'll put them out. Uh, we fenced off an area behind Mom and Dad's where the uh, little pier is. Uh, just a lot of tall grass around it that hadn't been weedy. So I left them go in there and get all that for that today. Food. And then uh, I ordered that drone, by the way. Oh, uh, okay. Or a drone. It'll be here today. Uh, I was talking to Mom about it the other day. I'm gonna, I think it's a little too windy this week. I want yeah, the wind calms down a little bit, or maybe I'll get some test shots and stuff. But it's supposed to be 25, 30 mile an hour winds, so sustained just about. Yeah, figured that would uh, give you guys a different view when we're working and stuff, and just extra shots I could do around town or at the beach or the ranch, stuff like that. Uh, as far as Kingsville goes, I don't know if you can fly because of the the air base. I don't know. I think they probably have some kind of the law is five miles from an airport, I believe. And I'm sure with the airbase, it's even more strict. So, yeah, I don't know. I'll look into it, but I'm not really planning There's on plenty of places to fly down here, yeah. especially like out the ranch. That's what I like is to uh, fly it out there and look around. And this one is it's way better than the last one we got. The last one I had was just a cheaper in one, and you get what you pay for with those things yeah. so this one will be real clear and then uh we hope so no it, it'll be clear i know that one i've seen footage from it but the uh when we're at the ranch i can send the drone up in the air we could all go in the truck and drive around and it'll follow you around and basically you have your own film crew with the push of a button so i don't know thought that'd be pretty cool and then like i said when we're building or when they're doing the foundation and stuff just throw the drone up in the air and get a yeah. aerial view of it um, just break up the, the shots a little bit more so that and then uh we moved like i showed in the video we moved the little chicken coop over and yes i know that thing is not good at all it's, it's just little it's very temporary for now until i get something built yeah like i said i told him i said just take that over there put them in it at least they'll have a place to go up and lay if they need to now don't get me wrong if you're in the middle of a city kind of like I am and you have a fenced in area and there's not a lot of wind in that it'll work for yeah. four chickens max the size of this one right. if they have an area to to go out to walk roam and stuff but that's what I plan on doing is just keeping them inside that fenced in area for about two or three days maybe maybe a week and then just let them free range and then they can go back in at night they know that's their home so I'm not too worried about it being too small for the moment yeah, we got we're probably getting six to ten eggs a day, you know, depending. Yeah. And those are the ones that I, the tractor supply birds are already laying, so I don't know, like I said, I'll probably do maybe four of them over there, and like I said, we had a, I don't know, you said about eight of them that were eggs that were still sitting in there that they're laying on. 
No, I picked those up. No. But there'll probably be that many today. So at my place, I think I'm going to let them just lay eggs and sit on them so we can get new chicks, new chicks and stuff. So, hey, y'all's, we can collect them. And then, like I said, I'll just leave mine there. But, I don't know. I, I liked having those animals on the property, like in Terrell and Oklahoma and stuff, having chickens just... To me, it's fun just watching them just go around pecking and just well, doing their thing. That's like the goats. It's, yeah, same thing with the goats. You know, the pond area, walking around, eating and stuff. It looks good watching them walk around. Plus, it'll just save us the hassle from having to really do much around the pond. If once or we five get that feet in. that yeah. So, that's the reason why we have goats and obviously chickens because they lay eggs. So. Like I said, we eat a lot of eggs. Now, I do want to get a... I want to get a little miniature donkey, just one. <laughs> but we'll see how that goes. If it's a real small one. Yeah, you get. I mean, you can find them. But I think that'd be funny just to have. Plus, they're protective too, so I'm sure they it would probably bond with the goats pretty good if it was just by itself. I'm sure it would. So, if you know anybody that has one for cheap and wants to build a fence around the pond, let us know. So, when do you think that's going to happen? Well, I've been looking for uh, fence posts. Yeah, i uh, been looking at the up in Robstown area, Alice. They have pipe. Uh, I saw some five and six inch diameter pipe, which I was planning on making uh, H's with them, you know, for the fencing. It's welded since I had that welder. Let's go ahead and uh, make some pin, uh, pipe vents, you know, but put wire on it. And once we get to that point, I'll just need a, all those, I planted a whole bunch of olive trees on the east side of my property. I probably planted maybe a dozen of them down that fence line. Yeah. I'll just have to block those off and then, like I said, that'll cut down on a lot of mowing for me on the outsides of my property and stuff, so. Dang, that's a huge zero turn. Good grief. Where this one? Yeah. Is that actually him? Yeah. Um, I'm surprised they don't have like a long hair crew. Or it was his kid. I don't know. Anyways, I don't know. That's what we're getting into today. So hopefully this grass will grow in and we can keep it watered and just give the goats a little bit extra to eat throughout the day. So yeah, hopefully uh, get all this. I want the burn bands up so we can start. We can't burn anything yet because it's still a little yeah, windy. It's too windy. We can at least start collecting, getting all that scraps and stuff around the shop, clean that up a little bit burn it all and hopefully we won't get any complaints from the store so. <laughs> oh, well. gas station complained the other day about uh i was burning some stuff in my yard the smoke they called the state trooper saying the smoke was bothering them the state trooper drove by didn't even stop or anything so i knew i was in the clear anyway so yeah, they can burn all they want. screw you store so <laughs> there's crap blows they got the they got trash and everything and they're going to complain about that screw them so anyways we'll leave it at that uh, any last words for these people? No. Uh, other than I guess we'll see y'all the next time, right? Yeah, appreciate y'all for watching, and we will catch y'all in the next one. Peace. I hope y'all aren't too bored. <laughs> yeah, hope y'all aren't too bored and straight from Dad's mouth. <laughs> Bye, guys.